get Roblox scary mitts. Um, I'm going to be honest. It's been a while since I recorded, so... Ah, this feels weird. Melvin. Okay, we got Melvin. Come on, who's Melvin? Sounds like a kid who steals burgers every day. Melvin is a translucent shaggy hat that is said to give off smoke from the item once you own it. I don't have a Melvin hat. But the hat cannot be bought from the catalog or what is now called the outer shop. No! They completely erased you from humanity, bruh. This hat was created as an honor to a Roblox student named Melvin who passed away in cancer. Oh, God. Oh, God, Melvin, damn. All right. Uh, it is said that every year on Melvin's death day, a random player will teleport into a different place when the player wants to join a Roblox game. Ah, yes, that's that's exactly what happened to me, guys. Melvin is haunting me. Please help. The place was a dark box with the Melvin Shaggy floating around inside. Oh, that is me. I took that screenshot. That's me. How does it no one know that? That's that's me. Why? why? <laughs> the game later got shut down and the player then received Melvin's hat then also caused the player's account to be deleted. Of course, you stole that man's hair. That you are, cancer already stole that man's life and you stole that man's hair and you bought it from Roblox. How dare you? Give Melvin's hair back. Let him live in peace. The Melvin game is not being found yet and the creator is unknown. Yeah, unknown just like my uh, non-existing smile. <laughs> Same with Melvin had that still cannot be found in the Roblox catalog. Oh, so they deleted Melvin's hair. Wow. Well, I guess it's not even there anymore. Poor hair. Therefore, the whole story is classified as a myth and it's not real. Man, I thought it was real, bro. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, what is this? Who's Rust? Who's Rust? Uh, Rust is either a retired myth or a horror developer, depending on whom you talk to. That's Rust. He's bald, too. <laughs> Bro's bald. Yeah, he ain't got no hair. What color is your hair? Bro, it's Andrew Tate. He's most well known for his affiliations with Albert. Oh no, not Flamingo, bro. What are you doing with Albert? Leave him alone. It is said that Rust's main goal is to stalk a YouTuber that goes by the name of Flamingo. Oh, so he's in love with them. That's that's cute. Oh my god, that's Rust. That's not even real. It's just a Rust what? Rust acts especially preferring to be around just Albert and never on any game that is not in his own. But Rust is not let him have Fred, bro. He just like Albert. Then let him like Albert, bro. Why are you trying to make this man like straight? He let him be gay. What's what's wrong? His profile says things such as error or system failure, making him seem like an AI. Well, he is an AI. He got broken. He got broken by the game. He became a robot. Number thirteen. My hair is up in my face, and I'm about to swallow it. <laughs> Grimblocks, all right, come on. Grimblocks, who's this? This guy seems like a scary guy now. Come on, bro. Grimblocks is a creepy pasta myth popularized by Tiffon. Who's that guy? And Enzo, okay. Grimblocks is usually depicted with a square shaped center with tentacles growing around it in a geometric shape. By the way, this music is terrifyingly annoying. My ears are gonna bleed. It said once per year a player will be playing with friends in a full server at 30 events suddenly his entire game will turn black and they will be teleported to a brown and red room completely dark and they'll see the thing in the top of the corner of the room. What are all these myths? Like they're not even like they're not even real. Like they're not real. Number three. We're getting to the top three. Oh my god, so spooky. John and Jane Doe. Of course I know John Doe and Jane Doe. These guys were like the big Roblox myths. John and Jane Doe are testing accounts founded by Roblox extremely early in the game development, okay? Currently, John and Jane Doe both wear Roblox jackets and black jeans while John wears a baseball cap and Jane wears pink tastic hair and a girlier torso. Yep. Okay, so what's scary about this? So what's the problem? Despite being different accounts, they have to look completely the same in the older versions. So what is the problem? Okay, they look the same. Even my hand looks like my other hand. What's the problem? John and Jane Doe have been used on YouTube by Roblox YouTubers for clickbait. And have tricked a lot of their young audience into believing that John and Jane Doe are real hackers. Even they're simply Roblox test accounts, which caused a lot of criticism and backlash on YouTubers' end. Well, they didn't get really any backlash. They just got a lot of views and a lot of money. So that's not true. <laughs> But also caused a lot of trouble. The children claim that John and Jane will rock Roblox, which got to a point where Roblox inside to announce a blog post debunking all the rumors. So it's fake! God dang it! Even John is not real! 
Anyways, I'm out. Adios, amigos. Uh, take care. And por favor, like, subscribe.